Here. You'll need these. Take a look around the city. Old Villador. Plenty of interesting spots to check out. See the church? That's where the howlers were after us. It's the center of the district. Uh huh. You can find notice boards with missing people around the city. One of them is near the church. Maybe somehow you'll find something about your sister there. And if not, just have fun. The world's already ended, right? How could things get any worse? I'll be back in touch when I've got a handle on things. Inhibitor container detected. What do you think is in it?
motherfucker. What does it look like I'm doing, asshole? Back up, asshole. Where you're going? What a day. No freaking way I can do it. Five years of learning and all for nothing. Easy money. I just have to get it right this time. 
Oh, oh Bruno needs to see you like good enough. Basto. Basto, huh? And Come here. Looking at all the dead people. Well, it says here they're missing. Same difference. They never find them anyway. Now then why the board? It's been 15 years. Many people disappeared back then. My neighbor lost his two kids. But life goes on. Except nobody has the courage to take those photographs down. But it's hopeless. Since there are no night runners, the search always ends the same. Now those night runners, tell me about them. What's there to say? Nearly all of them are dead. When they were around, they were the only ones not afraid to go out at night. They rescued those who didn't manage to get to a shelter. But of the entire group, only a few survived, including Frank. There, once upon a time, he was great. Now, he drinks himself into a stupor at his place in the central loop. Hard to say how much longer he'll be around. When did all this happen? A long time ago. Looking at you. You were still a kid yourself. Once upon a time, I came across two of them. Two girls. They were five or six years old. And it looked like they hadn't eaten for a month. What were their names? I don't remember. I threw them some old bread and took off because they were shaking as if they were about to turn. Red eyes. Swollen veins. I don't know what they were giving them there, those psychos from the GRE. Have you heard of 
kids who were in the GRE tests? Huh. And who wasn't in the tests? The young, the old, the blind, the deaf. Everyone came to find a vaccine. Some for cash, others to cheat destiny and not get infected. But that was the devil's bargain of Villador. Walled in with the plague, but given the chance to be the ones who gave the cure to the world. Well, the virus won. The study was eventually discontinued. And the children? Officially, no one tested on children. Human rights and other crap. And unofficially? And unofficially. Apparently, some of the kids were taken out of the city. The rest? Well, they just scattered around the city, abandoned. If the infected didn't get them, then hunger or darkness did. Where are all these kids at now? After all those years, most of them are probably dead. If someone got luckier and is still wandering around, they would probably be in the Central Loop. More peacekeepers there. Easier to survive. Someone must know more. Why? The past is the past, and there's no point in dredging it back up. Everyone has their own problems. Here and now, Pilgrim. Everyone fights for themselves. Little girl is only six years old. Sometimes life is so overwhelming. At least I have a reason to look for an apartment. I haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade You're in the so center. You're so sweet.
seven years since the chemical bombing. problem hey aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang man you were in luck there I could use some of that luck I'm Alberto's apprentice not for long probably it's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test if I fail again craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out hey, what's a craftmaster you're not from around here, right? Craftmasters are people who invent new technology, design innovations, all sorts of gadgets that might help in combat. Alberto's the grand master around here. Like I said, I'm his apprentice. People laugh at him that he's slow and not very eloquent, but he's a real friggin' genius. What's this test about? Our goats. They're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. So 
So what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see, as far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure, but it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. <laughs> Looks like you're in luck after all. I have the parts you need on me. Are you serious? That's just fantastic! Heaven must have sent you. Here. I don't know how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen, then. Near the wall. Aiden, how's it been, kid? Got a taste for city life yet? Uh, I've been here and there. You know, the best part is always happening in the center. And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. I'll tell you everything on the spot. Meet me on the roof, near the main metro station. the pilgrim everything all right no it's grilled the goat is grilled i'm such an idiot B what happened i must have overcalculated the voltage see he's useless i'm sorry i don't know how i could get it so wrong i told you it would be a waste of time why i don't think so this is very very it has big, huge... You're saying it has potential. Potential, yes. It could be an effective weapon. A weapon? It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon, it could raise your odds against turned creatures. The brave goat gave its life to science. There's dinner for everyone. And you? I take you as a... Uh, and pronounce you uh, uh, a... a... Uh, a... Craftmaster? Really? Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. If it's not strong enough, come round to my Craftmaster workshop. Sure, thanks. Just, uh, watch yourself out there, okay? No worries, friend.
right. Right here. Thank you, and come again. What strikes your fancy, my boy? You want more of the fight? Oh, <laughs> God. 
Hakon. Hey, you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city, the VNC Tower. <laughs> was she one of your wives? Almost. Too hot-tempered, even for my tastes. And what about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base.
So the PK run the city? They sure think they do. That's what they need the uniforms and ranks for. They tattoo them. They're fucking obsessed with hierarchy. <laughs> but they don't control the city. At least not all of it. Who controls the rest? The Colonel. The Renegades. Oh, you won't meet them here. For now. Wait, you brought me here to take a look at the Peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the metro technical station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the central loop. So we can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from dark zones. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can handle, though. When you get to the main station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night, when there's less infected in the tunnels. I'm in the tunnel. Okay. Now watch out for the infected. There might be a few, or a few dozen. I'm already in the BK base. I'll throw a UV flare through the vent, and you'll see how to get to the main station.
I could. I got to the flare. Look around. The technical tunnel to the main station should be well lit. I've already lured the guards upstairs. I'll chat them up while you get inside. Inside. Five packs. Think about it, and I'll be right back. I'm on the platform. Open the airlock. I'll be there in a second.
are you doing here? Where did he come from? He was wandering through the tunnels. Fucking bizarre riffraff. More like a renegade spy. Hmm. Doesn't look like a renegade. He's awake. What were you doing at our base? I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? <laughs> the tunnel's gonna be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. How is it that you lost saw nothing, heard nothing? And you managed to forget about the ban on passage. Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? What were you doing four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. Enough, Anderson. We need the truth. And you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always is said... dead. And now I'm in command. You've read the reports. A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. Looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone. <clears throat> Where did you come from? From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridge has collapsed. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. What's it like out there these days? When was the last time you were out of the city? About 15 years ago. And then there are that many fewer survivors. And that many more infected. Stands to reason. Most people endure living in this hellhole because what's out there has got to be so much worse. My wife and I lived in England. I had two sisters, two brothers. I haven't heard from them for 10 years. Where did they live? In and around London. From what I've been told, London doesn't exist. There may be four settlements left on the entire island. Fucking hell. Why would anyone think I killed your commander? You tried to escape to the Central Loop four days after the murder. Besides, if I were Carl, I'd hire a stranger to kill Lucas too. It's the cleanest way. Well, I don't know who Carl is. Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Carl keeps both hands on the steering wheel. He's a faux sanctimonious prick who's turning the entire bazaar against us even though we protect them. What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger's gonna come from. Always new territories, new threats. And you came here to take shelter? I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone? Hmm, maybe I can help you, but not for free. I'm used to trading, what do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer. Commander Lucas. His body was found in the bazaar. Horribly mutilated. The people of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Vilador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now, I'd rather avoid that. And what do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon, a rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me, and I will most certainly return the favor. 
It's worth a lot, and we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. And why should I work with you? You attacked me and accused me of murder with no proof whatsoever. Our mistake. You're clearly not the murderer. Why can't you investigate on your own? I hardly know anyone here. That's exactly why you can help me. Nobody will talk to us. To them, we're occupiers. The fact that we clear the streets of the infected and catch criminals, doesn't matter. What matters is that we eat their food and drink their water. But you, you're a pilgrim. There are many ways you can help people. And you're from the outside. They can trust you. They tried to kill me. Nah, look, we are your only chance. If you want to get to the center, that is. So, will you help me? So if I find that weapon, you'll let me through to the center? It's not that easy. Vilador suffered much. First, it was isolated from the outside world because of infection. Then the walls became its salvation. But people here learned not to trust easily. I won't open the passage until I've caught the killer. But if you can find the Lazarus, I'll remember that. You'll be the first one through once justice is done. Sounds as if I have no other choice. I'll try. Look around. Ask people. And don't come back empty-handed. Good luck. Questioned. Good. They didn't kill you. Meet me outside. 